mothers, are irreplaceable. Madam Judith is a beautiful woman, married to Mr. John, with four kids, three girls and a boy. She had a plan, which is to give her four kids the best training in the world and to cherish her husband. They lived happy so far, but not until the first child finished his secondary school and was waiting for his result, so he could gain admission into the university. One faithful day, he, the son, came home with happiness. Finally I made it, he said. Made what, my son? The mother asked. I have been offered admission into the university to study medicine, the son said. Everyone was happy including Madam Judith's husband. We will give you the best education and we will make sure you study to any level of your choice, Mr. John said. Few days later, preparations are being made for Judith's son to go pay his clearance fees, school fee and to do other registrations necessary. The following day, the son walked up to the father with a list. Dad, here is the cost of all the requirements I will need to go back to school and start, Judith's son said to his father as he is seated on the sofa. Mr. John collected the paper from him, looked at it, have your mother seen this? He asked his son. Not yet dad, replied the son. So why show it to me first? Mr. John replied. If you know you want to go to school, you better go and show it to your mother, because I don't have money, Mr. John said. He stood up and left the son with the paper on the floor. John stood for a while with tears in his eyes. In the evening, when Madam Judith returned from work, the son met her and gave her the paper, told her what the dad said to him. Madam Judith being a good woman, defended the husband by telling the son, Your father is facing some challenges at work but not to worry, you will go to school, she said. She sent him on an errand to go get some of the things listed on the paper. The son on the road to get the stuffs, by his right hand side is a bar, he turned to his right only to see his dad with his mistress, drinking and eating. He ran back home to tell the mother what he saw with his eyes. After telling the mother, Mrs. Judith covered up for the husband, he told me he will be going for a meeting with some of his colleagues, said Mrs. Judith. At a bar? Asked the son. I guess that's where they chose the venue, she replied back. Now go and get me what I asked you to get, she told the son as he leaves. God protect my kids so they don't get to see the wayward lifestyle of their father, Madam Judith prayed. Mr. John came back late in the night and started beating up the wife as the children tries to separate the fight, he pushed them away. The son took the glass jar that was near him and hit him on the head, Mr. John became unconscious. Why did you do that to your father? Madam Judith asked. I can't stand him beating you up like that, the son replied. He is your father, no matter what, you shouldn't lay a finger on your father, he loves you all, Madam Judith said, as she tries to wake him up but Mr. John is still unconscious. Is he dead? He asked the mother. I don't know, Madam Judith replied. Let's take him to the hospital, Tina, first daughter said. After a while, the other two children started started crying as their father remains unconscious on the floor. Madam Judith runs outside shouting, leaving the children with their father. To be continued tomorrow. Subscribe to get notification for episode 2.